Hey guys, it's Nick from BonBonsai.com, and today I'm going to be talking about caring for an indoor bonsai. Now, before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then go to the link above at www.bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, for the topic of today, uh, the indoor bonsai is a beautiful addition to any home or office, and once you learn how to care for these unique trees, they're a great hobby to have. Indoor bonsai are actually a miniature replica of natural outdoor trees. The cultivation of the indoor bonsai tree first began in China and Japan centuries ago, but today, growing the bonsai has become a popular hobby in many, many, many parts of the world. One of the best aspects of the indoor bonsai is that it only becomes more beautiful with time and with the right care. The indoor bonsai must receive enough sunlight without being exposed to temperatures that are too high or too low. If you live in a fairly mild climate, you may want to place your tree on a patio or porch when temperatures permit. If you live in a climate that reaches extreme temperatures, you may have to place your indoor bonsai in a room that receives plenty of light, but not right next to the window. Watering your indoor bonsai is another important element to properly caring for it. Your tree should be watered when the soil begins to appear dry, and it is very important that you never let the soil get too dry. Using the proper soil for the type of indoor bonsai that you have is also an essential element to caring for your tree. Always ensure that you have the right soil when planting or replanting your tree. The correct use of liquid fertilizer may also determine how healthy your indoor bonsai will be. To guarantee that you're getting the right fertilizer and applying it correctly, seek advice uh, for the type of tree that you have. For the indoor bonsai to grow properly, it is extremely important that you trim it at the appropriate times. Tropical and subtropical indoor bonsai have to be trimmed throughout the year. Not only do the tr branches need to be trimmed, but also the roots. Nevertheless, as different plants grow at diverse rates, you will have to assess your tree's growth and change the trimming accordingly. With proper care, your indoor bonsai can grow to be beautiful and healthy. Once you get the hang of caring for your bonsai, you may even want to add several more to your collection. And that's all for today. Make sure you check the link above, and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. So, I'll see you in the next one.